will say that this is the second time I'm recording the audio. Uh, my computer suddenly died in the middle of the first one, so I lost all of that, and I have to start it over again. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have to do it all over again, so hopefully this video can actually get done. <laughs> that I started out with wasn't inherently bad. It wasn't great and it didn't really give anything, I guess. It needed some improvements. Um, I liked the character and I liked the, the style, the magical girl. Um, so I thought it might be nice to actually give something to the background instead of just uh, a couple colors. <laughs> As one does and I found my um, Alphonse Mucha art book um, if you study art he's a pretty famous uh, artist but I'll put up a couple pictures just in case you haven't heard of him <laughs> but um, he's known for giving these really beautiful outlines to these lovely ladies and doing really beautiful flowers and really really interesting Decor? Is that the word? Um, anyways, that's sort of what I'm doing here is giving this girl a banner behind her of sorts. Um, I think it really does suit the theme pretty well, especially because I was inspired also by uh, Madoka Magica when just making the original piece. And I know that that show has a lot of um, really beautiful art styles and it really gives me a lot of inspiration, so. I thought that the two would match up kind of nice, but um, it's always good to look at things that inspire you and kind of take them into your own work if you're kind of stumped, rather than finishing a piece halfway and then just kind of tossing it out because you don't think it's going to work. Uh, one of my sort of art philosophies is that there's no such thing as a bad idea, just a poorly executed one, <laughs> um, which is this in and of itself. So right here I'm doing some of the banner work and I think I'm getting started on the mural, but I wanted to place the character just so I know what was going to get in the way and what wasn't. I really wanted to keep her and try and do as little work as I had to. Um, so as you saw, like I tried to cut her and like reposition her, but the new pose that I had to just entirely redraw. It's a lot better because her body is co sort of moving with the curve of her bow rather than in the first pose she's just sort of landing and aiming at the same time. <laughs> it's a little awkward. I think that the new pose flows much better. It gives more of a direction as to like where your eye should be looking. <laughs> A lot of Mooka's work had to do with symmetry, and I think he does have some asymmetry, but to me personally, I thought it would be nice to have the background be totally symmetrical. That way, the character, who's totally not, um, definitely stands out a bit more. And I think she looks really, really pretty. Um, as we get further on, I start to work on the mandala, which I don't think is too typical of Mooka's work, but I thought it would be a nice sort of like background piece. Uh, and I incorporated a lot of like really, really nice round flowy shapes just because I think that they give off a more whimsical appearance. It's a little more fun to draw too. <laughs> In the mandala, I included these like 
spears, which I know that some magical girls use. I wanted something that was a little contrasty to all the, the round. So I thought, you know, another weapon might be kind of a nice little touch. And it was actually a really, really fun and relaxing thing to do to just make the mandala. So I recommend um, if you're looking for something to do, just if you have Photoshop or some other program that has uh, a mandala tool, just fiddle around with it. Get, you know, get some inspiration that way and just relax. Make some fun shapes. See, like, like these, I didn't even know were going to be flowers at first, but they're such a nice, pleasing shape that that's what they ended up becoming. <laughs> Also did want to mention that because this is the second recording, it got mentioned in the first recording, but I lost a lot of the footage for the actual speed paint too. So unfortunately all we get to see is the line work and I think that's pretty much it. It's such a shame. I really wanted to show off all the coloring and the shading, but it was not my day. <laughs> but regardless. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and got something out of it, even if it was pretty minimal. Um, the next video I'm going to upload, I'm going to be talking about uh, my process of like coloring and shading a little bit more in depth. So if that's something that interests you, subscribe, stick around, and I'll see you next time.